champions, LeBron James captures that elusive title he so desperately coveted. How sweet it was. 2012 saw King James and the Miami Heat crowned NBA champs. It marked the start of the Ryan Tannehill era with the Dolphins and the demise of the Marlins' best laid plan. After losing game one, the Heat beat Oklahoma City four straight to win the NBA Finals. For MVP LeBron James, it temporarily made up for losing in the finals the year before. They go without saying it's the best moment of my life, man. Best moment of my life. What can you say now? What can you say? He's a champion, people. Get off his back. LeBron won the championship. He was finals and regular season MVP. He won an Olympic gold medal. LeBron James was named Sports Illustrated Sportsman of the Year. After failing to get Jeff Fisher, the Dolphins hired Green Bay assistant Joe Philbin to be their new coach. They also missed out on Peyton Manning, then drafted Ryan Tannehill with the eighth overall pick in the first round. The Dolphins do not have a winning record for the fourth straight year. Very repetitive. I'm tired of saying it. I'm tired of saying it every time. Well, almost, almost. We didn't get it done, and I'm tired of saying it. Really. The Marlins spend a bunch on big-name free agents, only to finish last in the division, fire the manager, and trade away literally half the team. It was a disastrous first season in their brand-new ballpark. For starters, manager Ozzy Guillen got in hot water with the Cuban exile community when he said he respected Fidel Castro. He was suspended five games by the team. I heard a lot of people, a lot of people feeling, a lot of victims. For the first time in 12 years, the Panthers made the playoffs. They lost in the first round. Their momentum killed when this season hockey was postponed in a labor dispute. The Canes football team self-imposes its second bowl ban a preemptive strike waiting for further sanctions from the NCAA investigating improper gifts from a rogue booster. All the factors were considered, all the information that they had uh, you know, available to them. Everybody's disappointed, but uh, we're not discouraged. After two straight bowl games, FIU goes three and nine and fires Mario Cristobal. Former Canes coach Jimmy Johnson was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. The NFL season starts with replacement officials. After three weeks of bad calls, the full-timers are called back. The NFL suspends four players and three coaches from the New Orleans Saints for their part in a bounty scandal. Former teammates and brothers-in-law Jason Taylor and Zach Thomas go together onto the Dolphins honor roll. Former Dolphin Junior Seau committed suicide. Kansas City Chiefs linebacker Javon Belcher shot and killed himself in the team parking lot. Hours before, he shot and killed his girlfriend. Defamed Penn State football coach Joe Paterno dies. And four-time world boxing champ Hector Macho Camacho was shot and killed in a car in Puerto Rico. Lance Armstrong was stripped of his seven Tour de France titles when teammates rat him out for doping. Lynn Sanity captivated the NBA. The New York Giants beat the New England Patriots in the Super Bowl. The San Francisco Giants swept Detroit to win the World Series. The LA Kings won their first ever Stanley Cup. The Daytona 500 is suspended when a driver hits the truck drying the track. I've hit a lot of things, but a jet dryer? <laughs> I mean, no. Brad Keselowski won the NASCAR championship at Homestead. Alabama won the National Football Championship and is playing for it again in January. Kentucky won the Men's Basketball Championship and Baylor wins the women's title. The first team, men or women, to go 40 and 0. This was the year in sports 2012. I'm Steve Shapiro, 7 News.